Well, most regard Bedford as the limestone capital of the world, but the town where it all started, the focus of this week's Endangered Indiana series, here's Mary Rachel Redmond. Southern Indiana is synonymous with limestone, but what many don't know, this tiny Hoosier town was actually the heart and the start of the state's limestone industry. So Steinsville had one of, if not the first limestone industry in the state and um, started as early as the 18, early 1850s. And so they supplied a lot of the limestone for buildings around the state of of Indiana and beyond. It's easy to see the mark of Steinsville's limestone history in the five buildings that line Main Street. Steinsville's uh, downtown, their commercial buildings, there's only uh, five of them in total. One of them is privately owned and not part of our 10 most endangered. Uh, the other four have all been vacant for at least 25 years. The four commercial buildings don't look bad from the front, but you walk around to the back and it's a completely different story. Crumbled brick and pieces of limestone like this show just how serious the deterioration of this once booming piece of Hoosier cityscape really is. Just last year, the city of Steinsville offered $1 for the block of four to anyone who could stabilize or restore them. But unfortunately, they didn't get any interest. But Indiana Landmarks tells me they're optimistic that they'll drum up new interest, putting it on their 10 most list for the second time since the early 90s. These tangible reminders, right? These buildings that uh, then also had the carve of the stone carvers who created the facades, the, the stone blocks that uh, make up what you see today in Steinsville. I think that's something not only to be remembered, but to be um, sort of continually used as part of our active lives as we try to put an active use to these buildings again and that they still see uh, active use in Steinsville in, in the 21st century. Mary Rachel Redman, Inside Indiana Business.